promise did not expire. Be inspired. What's up, people? I'm your host, Jay Will. This is Inspire Guys People, where we balance faith and business to guide you to your purpose. Today, I want to talk to you about the importance of investing, but I want you to think beyond business and think about the importance of investing in yourself. This all started yesterday when I had this bright idea to start Googling old articles about businesses that are successful today. So think about Netflix, Amazon, Apple, those type of companies. I was Googling and I wanted to know, like, what did people have to say about the company when they were making decisions before they were the giants that they are today? Because we all know that hindsight is 2020, and it's easy for people to agree with something that's already happened, already been done. Like, oh, Netflix is so great. Apple is so great. Yeah, that's easy to say now because you're living in their greatness. But I look at investing a lot like faith, that ability to have hope, that ability to believe and make a decision to stand on that belief before everyone else sees the vision, before it makes clear sense to be able to say, nope, I believe in this. I believe God is doing this. I believe God is leading me here. And that is a lot like investing to me. So I like to look at business in order to better understand my faith a lot of times. Hence, balancing faith and business to guide you to your purpose. Inspire God's people, this is what we do. So I came across an article in the New York Times from January 16th, 2007, and this was about Netflix. The headline said, Netflix delivers movies to the PC. Now that probably sounds like laughable to us, but 2007 ain't that long ago. You get what I'm saying? That's the other reason I like to look at this stuff because it's like, yo, in 14, 15 years, a lot can happen. And 14, 15 years ago, this whole idea of streaming video to your computer was unreal like that was insane like we're not even gonna talk smart tvs and watches and all kind of other stuff and the things you could do talk to alexa and siri these days like back then back then 2007 not that long ago right it was just this idea to deliver a movie to a pc was revolutionary so thinking about investing netflix stock at the time fun fact it had actually fell 6.3% the prior week, you know, prior to this announcement, and it was around $22.71. So you could have bought one share of Netflix in 2007 to the visionaries out there who, you know, y'all believe that Netflix was going to be what it is today. For $22.71, you could have had one share. Yeah, in case you're wondering, that one share of stock for Netflix today is over $600. I can talk over $600, and that's an increase of over 25, 2600%. So, had you just parked your money there in 2007, sit back, relax, and let Netflix be and do what Netflix is gonna do, had you believed, had you invested, then you would be probably sitting off really well today. And I'm sure somebody out there who's watching this is probably like, yeah, I picked it up at $22, cause I knew, and you're a genius, that's what investing is about. You're a genius, you knew, you have faith, you believed, I get it, you're rich. What's really funny to me though, is when you read through the article, is to see how people talk about things in real time. Like the fact of the matter is there was some doubt with Netflix. They were entering a space that other companies were already in with video streaming. They were coming from being a DVD delivery or mailing service, right? This whole idea that you know today of Netflixing and chilling and you know, just so easily like getting Netflix as the app on your on your smart TV and you can talk to the remote. All of these things were like unheard of at the time. And so it's interesting to see the doubt that people have before something becomes what it is. Most people have heard about this whole situation with Blockbuster Video and Netflix where Blockbuster actually had an opportunity to purchase Netflix. Netflix was hurting and went to Blockbuster and Blockbuster literally laughed in their face. And we know that the story didn't end up well for Blockbuster and it ended up really well for Netflix. The question you're asking yourself right now is what does this have to do with me, my faith and all of this stuff? And I get it, like you, you trying to figure it out. I look at faith a lot like investing. I'm having to make a decision to have hope, to believe in something that is not fully manifested today. But the beautiful thing about investing just like faith is you can look at the track record of the organization, the company, the entrepreneur, the people behind it. You can also look at the vision of what they are going to do. Like when you invest, you don't just blindly invest in something off of hope. You're looking at things that they've done, um, the track record of people and the things that they are planning to do. And you are really betting on 
the likelihood and probability of that actually taking place. So when you talk about investing in your purpose, your God-given purpose, investing in believing in Christ, the whole idea is, hey, I have God's track record. Like the Bible is actually both. It does both of those things really well. It shows you what God has already done and it talks about what he plans to do so just by reading the bible alone and getting my foundation and my faith in the word of god i can have confidence in looking like wait a minute this is the same god where when in exodus 14 when moses raised his staff and god parted the red sea and brought the people of israel across the sea and then let it loose again to drown those who were coming to kill them like this is that god this is the same god that had purpose with Joseph in his journey um, through being sold into slavery, going to prison, and God allowed him to become in a position to actually deliver the people who persecute, uh, I can talk, persecuted him. I can talk. If you listen to the podcast and you know that I can talk and you know why I say I can talk. And if you don't listen to the podcast, this is a great opportunity to give you a commercial and give you a reason to go listen to Inspire God's People, the podcast on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, Amazon, Audible, anywhere where you can listen to podcasts. Do that. Why wouldn't you do it? What's wrong with you? Now, my point is that the Bible is this beautiful description and historic record of what God has already done. So that gives me some reason to invest but there's also like a you know a white paper for and a blueprint for his vision and the things that he plans to do and i definitely want to be a part of those plans i definitely want all things to work out for my good because i love god and i'm a called according to his purpose right so i should invest in believing in what god called me to do but here's why it's so much of a struggle for people to invest in something it's because although I know God has a plan, I know that he has a purpose for my life, I can get caught up in the distractions of everything that's going on around me now, and I can get caught up in the seeds of doubt, and the people in the, the media, and then everybody who's talking and reinforcing doubt about God plan, uh, God's plan, and who God is, and what he called me to do, and how I should be living for him. Sometimes, if you allow yourself to live too much in the moment, you can lose track and have blurred vision about the faith and what is to come in the plan in the future. But for those people out there who are willing, even in the midst of the doubt, to say, I know that my value today is only $22.71. I know that, you know, I'm not one of the top people. I'm not a top organization. I know it don't look like I'm gonna become what God has called me to become. I know where I came from and it just don't look good. And so you don't wanna believe, but I'm choosing today in the midst of that, to believe in the purpose and calling of God and what he wants to do in my life. And I'm telling you for the people who stand on the faith, who stand on the belief in God, the beautiful thing is your stock price will rise in spirit. It doesn't even have to happen, happen naturally. This is not literally about a dollar amount, although you can apply this to business as well. You can go invest and do your research. And I'm not telling you what to invest in, but you can find opportunities before they happen that's when the real money is made that's when the real payoff is is when you found it beforehand there's not a lot of value in somebody who invests in something while it's already high anyone can do that i'm telling you right now man invest in yourself invest in the faith believe investing is about believing and people in the business world back that up by putting their money where their mouth is i'm telling you today put your faith where your mouth is man like put your belief there like stand on that and sit back and let god work as time passes by there will be ups and downs just like that stock chart i tell people all the time when you look at the stocks they go up and down to go up no chart really just goes straight up you know maybe some you get lucky then it's like some crazy situation and just go one green bar going straight up. You don't see that every day. What's my point? My point is stand in the faith through the ups and the downs, through the rocky times, and God will bless you for standing and believing in his word in the end. And also in the business end, figure out what you believe in, whether it's your career, whether it's investments, whatever it is, when you're spending your money, don't just blow your money on things, distractions today. You don't really need no red bottoms, fam. Like not unless you can truly afford them, but you don't have to buy things to impress people. You could just do the slow and steady thing that God has called you to do. Slowly save a hundred dollars a week, slowly save, move that up to $200 a week to a thousand a month one day. Like you do that over time, you will look up and there will be payoff. 
The most beautiful thing about God's principles is that they apply both naturally and spiritually. Sometimes the opportunities are there. We're just not opening our eyes enough to see them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I can talk and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Like I'm gonna be doing more videos like these. I think I'm gonna try to. Um, I enjoy being able to talk like this. I post some of these things on Instagram or Facebook. You can look at the link in the description and find all of those links, whatever ones I have in there. You know, I don't know. Like sometimes it's like, am I really gonna type all this stuff in here? I'm doing all this stuff myself. But I hope you enjoy this content. I can talk more than anything, more, I was trying to say most of all and more, but anyway, more than anything, I want you to check out my podcast, Inspire God's People. Again, that's where we balance faith and business to guide you to your purpose. I do a lot of cool interviews with people, and then sometimes it's just a monologue of me breaking something down. We've been talking a lot about the metaverse and cryptocurrency and the Bible and how Christians should feel about technology. So if that sounds interesting to you, please do subscribe to the show as well. But like I said, subscribe, hit the notifications, and be on the lookout, man, for more, more video. I can talk. I can talk, y'all. I promise I can. All right, man. Y'all have a beautiful day.